What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the Mad Mars YouTube channel and our Detroit Tigers franchise. The Tigers have been on kind of a slide here recently in this series, losing four of the last four episodes. Can they get back on a winning track and stop the slide there instead of making it five in a row? We'll have to find out next when the Tigers take on the Astros in Minute Maid Park. We will go ahead and take a look at the Houston Astros starting lineup. Joe Scalafini will lead off, followed by Luis Valbuena and Jose Altuve in the three spot. Your starting pitcher for your Detroit Tigers tonight, Justin Verlander, the former MVP and Cy Young winner, 9-6 and six on the season with a 3.36 ERA. And Joe Scalafini will step in for the Astros to lead off. He's got a 1-2 count on him, and Verlander, Gonna get him swinging on the low outside circle change, and Justin Verlander gets it done to the leadoff man. Luis Valbuena in now to take his cuts here with one out, one two count. And he's gonna hit this one hard to right field back, going Rajay Davis at the wall. He looked up and it's gone into the crowd, and the Houston Astros are on the board with the Luis Valbuena's home run. He was eight for 43 in the last 10 games coming in, and he breaks out of that slump in a big way here, giving the Astros the lead as you take another look at it. This one going back about 10 rows there into right field, and the Astros take a one to nothing lead here in the bottom of the first inning. That will bring up Jose Altuve now with one out, an 0-2 count, and Altuve is going to take this one to right field. It will be fair, and it will jump over the wall for a ground rule double. After a walk, Evan Gaddis will step in, hitting 257 with men on first and second. Gaddis going to ground into a 3-6-1 double play, and the Tigers get out of the inning after giving up one run on the Luis Valbuena home run. We'll move now to the top of the second and we'll look at the Tigers starting lineup. Kinsler will lead off, followed by Davis and Cabrera. And the starting pitcher tonight for the Houston Astros, Colin McHugh, 13 and five and 23 starts this season with a 3.36 ERA. And Victor Martinez will step in to lead off here in the top of the second. He's got a 2-1 count on him. And the pitch. And Victor going to smack that one into left past the shortstop. And he is on first now. And that is going to bring up... Well, we're going to look at the hits leaders for the season. And Victor Martinez ties Mike Trout with that hit with 147 hits this season. Trevor Plouffe will step in now, 1-1 one, one count. And Plouffe going to hit this one up the middle past the shortstop. And there will be Min on first and second with nobody out. Later in the inning, one out. Min on first and second still. And Joanna Cespedes is going to walk here. That will load the bases and bring up Jose and Glace. Actually, Alex Avila here is going to step in. He's two for 19 in his last five games. And this one, he's swinging at one low and very, very inside. And he's going to strike out, swinging there. That will bring up Jose Iglesias. He's hitting 175 with runners in scoring possession with zero home runs and 13 RBIs. But he's going to take this one hard and deep to left in the diving left fielder. Cannot make the play. That will score one. Another one in, and the third one will come in as the throw is under the third baseman. And it's a three RBI double for Jose Iglesias as you take another look at it. Gets all the way back there in left center. That'll bring up Ian Kinsler now with two outs and a man on second. And Kinsler going down on the curveball. But the Tigers get three and take the lead three to one over the Astros. We'll move to the bottom of the third now. Alex Presley at the plate here to lead off with a 2-1 count. Verlander's pitch. 
Hit hard. It's back deep to right field in the gap. It will be down off the top of the wall there. And Presley heading for third will stand up safe with a triple. That'll bring up Joe Scalafini. And he's going to strike out on the circle change. Verlander gets him again. And that will bring up Luis Valbuena. And Valbuena is going to go down looking. Strike three called. He couldn't hit another home run. And that's going to leave it up to Jose Altuve now. And Altuve is going to pop out here to first base. Miguel Cabrera in foul territory will take care of that one. And the leadoff triple doesn't do any damage for the Tigers. And they still lead 3-1 to one through 3. We move to the top of the fourth inning now. Alex Avila at the plate with two outs. And Avila taking this one deep to left center field. It's back and it's going to be off the wall. Avila heading for second. Will stand up there and stay. That'll bring up Jose Iglesias with two outs. And he is going to line out here to left. And the Tigers can't get anything after that two out double from Avila. And we move to the bottom of the fourth inning now. Chris Carter up at the plate. He walked in his first appearance this time. He's going to take this one to left. It's a single in to left. And the leadoff man is on for the Astros. Up next, Evan Gaddis. And Gaddis is going to single over Trevor Plouffe's head into left. That will put Min at first and second. And that's going to bring up Jason Castro. 0 for 1 on the day. Castro going to hit this one down the line in left past the third baseman, Ploof. That's going to score a run. It's an RBI single for Jason Castro. And it's a 3-2 game now, still in favor of Detroit. Alex Presley at the plate now with one out and the base is loaded. And Presley is going to pop this one up to shallow right field. Casper Wells under it and hits off his glove. He misplays it a bit there. And that's going to score a run. And that's actually going to score two runs, I believe. And the Astros tie this game at three apiece after that error by Casper Wells. Joe Scalafini at the plate now. And he's going to single up the middle. That's going to score one. Another one around third will head in and score as well. It's a two RBI single for Joe Scalafini. And the Astros take a 5-3 lead. Jose Altuve now at the plate. And he is going to take this one for a ride deep to right field. And that one will be caught by Rajay Davis. A sack fly by Jose Altuve will make it 6 or 7-3 to three here. After four innings, the Houston Astros lead. The Astros lead it 7-3. to Ian Kinsler. So the Tigers gave up six runs in the bottom of the fourth, and we move ahead to the top of the fifth here. Houston up 7-3. to three. Ian Kinsler at the plate. And he's going to give this one a ride to right center field in the gap. That will get down and off the wall. Kinsler heading for second. He will round and head for third. The throw in, not in time. Kinsler slides in safe with a leadoff triple. Rajay Davis at the plate now, and he's going to give this one a ride. It's up high in the air, and it's heading for the fence. It's off the wall. Kinsler scores. Davis heading for third, and it's back-to-back -back triples for the Detroit Tigers. Victor Martinez stepping in now with the Tigers down by three. One-two count, man on third, and Martinez is going to swing at that one, and that's going to leave Rajay Davis to score. Martinez will be thrown out at first. And that's going to bring up Ioannis Cespedes with two men on and two outs. And he's going to ground a third, throw on to first, gets him in time. And the Tigers score two, but they still trail seven to five midway through the fifth. In now in the bottom of the fifth, Jabba Chamberlain come in in relief of Justin Verlander. 8-3 record, one save, 3.52 ERA, and he's going to try to shut down the Houston Astros here. Evan Gaddis going to lead off for the Astros, and he's going to lead off with a walk to start this inning. So not a good start for Chamberlain. George Springer now will single through the gap here between third and short. That'll put Min at first and second. 
And the Astros have something going here in the bottom of the fifth. Jason Castro at the plate now. He had an RBI single last time up. This time he's going to take the 3-2 count deep to right center field. And that one is gone. Didn't even have to chase after it. A three-run home run by Jason Castro gives the Astros a 10-5 lead here in the bottom of the fifth inning. And they've opened up it, opened it up pretty big here now as we take another look at this home run, or the swing at least, from Jason Castro. And that will bring up Luis Valbuena later in the inning. And he's going to hit this one deep to left. It's off the wall. That will score a run. Valbuena will head into second. And it's an RBI double for the Astros. They take an 11-5 lead after five. And we go ahead and fast forward to the top of the seventh inning here. And you have kind of a recap here. Jose Iglesias, two for three with three RBIs on the day. Luis Valbuena, two for three with a home run. And Castro also with a home run. Martinez up here in the top of the seventh. And he's going down swinging. He strikes out to lead off. Casper Wells now at the plate. He had the error earlier in the game. And he's going to strike out swinging on the sinker inside. And that's two outs. Trevor Plouffe now at the plate. And Plouffe hitting this one hard deep to center. But it will be caught there. And the Tigers are out here in the seventh. We move to the bottom of the eighth inning. Jose Altuve steps in to lead off with a 3-2 count. He's going to smack this one into left. He'll get down in front of Cespedes. And Altuve has a leadoff single. Chris Cutter now. He's going to single down the line in left pass. Trevor Plouffe. And that's going to put Min at first and second. George Springer steps in now. And Springer, he's going down, swinging on the curveball. And Kyle Ryan can celebrate that strikeout. Jason Castro now at the play. And Castro going down as well. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Kyle Ryan. And that will bring up Matt Dominguez. One for four on the day, a single and a run. And a 2-1 count with the bases loaded. And he's going to ground that one to Plouffe. He will gather himself, throw on to first, and the Astros are out here in the eighth inning. The bases loaded. Situation does not produce a run. And we move to the top of the ninth inning. Ian Kinsler to lead off here for the Tigers. Down by six. They need a miracle. And Kinsler is going to ground a third, throw on to first. We'll get him, and the leadoff man is retired. Rajay Davis at the plate now, and Davis is going to ground this one to second base, on to first, and quickly, there's two outs here in the top of the ninth, and the Tigers are down to their last out here. Miguel Cabrera steps in, 0 for 4 on the day with a strikeout. He's got a 1-2 count on him, and he's going to be swinging out of that circle change, and that will do it, folks. The Houston Astros will extend the Tigers' losing streak in episodes to five in a row and the Tigers trying to figure out what they can do to get better and get a victory. Luis Valbuena, your player of the game. Two hits, one run, one double, a home run, and two RBIs on the day. And the Houston Astros take this one in Minute Maid Park, 11-5. to So the Astros take game one of a three-game set, and we will go ahead and move ahead, and we have another injury. Anibal Sanchez sustained a torn finger ligament, and he'll be out for one to two months. So our starting lineup has been decimated. And the Astros would take game two. The Tigers take game three. A two-game set was split against the Chicago Cubs. And a four-game set with Texas. The Tigers took three of four. And then they took two of three against the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And we take a look at the standings here. Detroit 69-59. and 59, And they have crept their lead a little bit bigger. It was two and a half at one point. It's now four and a half over the Twins. Five over the Royals and Indians. And... We take a look at the upcoming series. It'll be on the road in Toronto against the Blue Jays. Drew Verhagen will get the start in game one against Mark Burley. Uh, if you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. 
hit that subscribe button if you are new and let's go ahead and get some likes on this video guys share it like it subscribe you can also follow me on twitter leave a comment down below about what you thought about this episode and we will catch you guys in the next video